the specials of Splatoon 3 are really interesting, and it started to make me wonder, if you and your teammates could only have one special, which would be the strongest one to have? We're all hopeful that Splatoon 3 will limit the rate at which people can get and fire specials to avoid the tent missile spam that plagues Splatoon 2. While I don't think there's a bad special, I do think there is a best one for this job. Let's go in order from the worst to the best. It's hard to pick a worst one, so to speak, but I think I'd go with the ninja. While the ninja is very cool in concept, I don't think having four of them on one team is too effective in the long run. If it's on fast painting weapons like a splash o a team could glide in a nearby wall, paint the zone, and then hop out like nothing ever happened to force a quick zone capture. In fact, the strength of too many ninjas would be buying your team some more time. If you and your teammates use their ninjas one by one by one by one, I think that'd be pretty good to keep a tower from moving forward too much. Remember, it just takes one player on the tower to keep it from going anywhere. Could you imagine four ninjas <laughs> ganging up on a single Rainmaker player? One minute, you got the big gold fish in your hands. The next minute, oops, all ninjas, back to spawn with ya. <laughs> all right, now we have the Killer Whale 5.1. Even if the current Killer Whale revamp is looking a little bit on the weak side, you cannot deny it'd be funny to have four of them. Seeing as you get your weapon and mobility back instantly after using this special, there's a lot less danger to having four of these active on the field simultaneously compared to other specials in the game. Like, no enemy team is staying on the tower with four layers of killer whale firing at it. Imagine being a Rainmaker player and trying to dip and dodge around so many lasers. Eh, yeah, uh, good luck with that one. However, It doesn't seem like the killer whales paint very much, if at all, and they also don't last very long. It'd be a one and done aggressive attack, which would leave you and your team without any specials pretty fast. If those killer whales don't do their job, you pretty much just burn through all your specials. And next we got the crab tank, the beloved. I love the design of the crab tank. If your whole team used the crab tank at the same time, you'd have four fast moving, Highly agile, destructive players all active at the same time. It'd be great for long range and for large maps, but I don't know how good it would be if you're already on somewhere like the Splat Zone. With how fast this special starts up and ends, though, there isn't too much of a penalty to using them all in a big team fight. There's also <laughs> absolutely no way an enemy Rainmaker or Tower is going to approach with four of these barreling down on the enemy team. <laughs> but uh. I think you'd want to watch out if the enemy team has too many ink zookas. You're kind of a sitting duck. It also seems like it's a little too big to work well on tower. I feel like if you tried to roll with it, you'd fall right off, and then probably not be able to jump back on. Smack dab in the middle of this list, I'd put our big old defensive special, the big bubbler. Assuming players cannot physically go inside an area where the big bubbler is, having four of them. Could be downright evil. Imagine there's about 15 seconds left in a Rainmaker match, and the Rainmaker shield has already been popped. Why not just throw a big bubbler over it and keep the other team from taking the Rainmaker? Oh no! They broke your big bubbler. Next teammate throws theirs. Rinse and repeat to waste time until the match ends. <laughs> Then you win. If maps like Gobi Arena or <sighs> Camp Triggerfish come back. What stops a group of players from putting all four of their bubblers down at the same time to just completely block off a zone? <laughs> However, we haven't been shown what happens if a big bubbler is thrown somewhere where an enemy player is already standing. Do they get kicked out, or is it more of a if they leave after that they can't come back in situation? This might determine the strength of the special by quite a lot. The other issue, of course. Is that having four bubblers mean you and your teammates are sacrificing a lot of offensive pressure to push if things go bad later on? I mean, it could hold off spawn campers, but that's not helping you get back to the objective. All right, <laughs> it's vacuum time. We already know that having four of these firing at a splat zone would make it literally impossible for the enemy team probably to cover the zone. So that kind of makes it dummy broken already, but. At the same time, 
it has the same issue with, let's say, the crab tank, where people could just walk up behind the whole team and probably get them. It doesn't look like you can fire any shots while using the vacuum. So the main issue would be making sure that you and your entire team that are all using vacuums at the same time can't get jumped. Bombs exist. Specials that can hit them exist. Like throwing ink strikes at them. Throwing zookas at them. Firing at them with your own crab from like the side. Five minutes later. I don't know, man. Poor vacuum. Please tell me. What are, what are people supposed to do against a triple ink strike but four of them? It's 12 ink strikes? <laughs> Come on! I, I can't imagine they don't nerf it a little bit at some point once the spam begins. Can you just think about it? 12 ink strikes? One by one? Being thrown at a splat zone? 12 ink strikes? <laughs> thrown one by one at a tower? In overtime? It's the perfect crime. A and you know players are going to be committing it. It's just Booyah Bomb again. In Splatoon 2, players that are firing fast can outpaint a Booyah Bomb, and you could also do the same in Splatoon 1 to the original Ink Strike, but will we be able to with two or more falling at the same time? There's only one way to find out, and that's in September, I guess. Of course, the Ink Strikes seem to be really fast. That means you'll all exhaust your resources very quickly and then be stuck without any pressuring power for a while, especially if Splatoon 3 ideally makes special spamming more difficult. We also haven't seen what the true killing power of the Ink Strike is yet. Like, yes, we've seen people get clowned on by it in the trailer, but how easy is it actually to die to the Ink Strike? Did they, like, weaken the wall of the field a little bit so it's not like an insta-kill? We'll find out pretty fast. Last, but definitely not least, is our powerhouse, the Trizooka. Is there someone on the splat zone? Uh, there isn't gonna be once you and your teammates all fire ink zookas at it at the same time. Four players having triple zooka would be the way to quickly ensure that no one is near the objective on the enemy team, unless they're, you know, looking to go back to spawn. With more killing power and effective range than triple ink strike, I would say that having four of these is actually stronger for at least a couple of the modes, especially Rainmaker and probably Splat Zones as well. Where does somebody go if there's four massive columns of ink flying across a zone? I'd argue the Triple Zooka has the same problem as Vacuum though. If someone is flanking around, it might be difficult to react in time or, uh, you know, react again to a bomb. Assuming you can swim, this is a little bit less of an issue, but it still is pretty scary. <laughs> I think all the specials in Splatoon 3 have great potential, and I can't wait to be able to try some in person when we get the test fire. Once a lot of the community unlocks League Battle and a bunch of weapons, we'll be able to see which specials have the most potential for evil. <laughs> what do you think? Feel free to let me know your thoughts about this hypothetical in the comments below! And if you liked hearing me ramble about specials that we, you know, still can't actually use that could be changed also before the game comes out, Subscribe for more Splatoon content. Thanks for watching. Bye.